Hey girls and guys, it's Presley and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about meeting one of my childhood heroes. Now, I honestly think I didn't get to, I wouldn't get to meet any of my, um, one of my childhood heroes because it sounds like a dream I could never reach until it happened last weekend and I couldn't be any happier to meeting one of my childhood heroes. His name is Johnny Young Bosch. And you're probably thinking to yourself, who the fuck is this Johnny guy? Well, I might give you some a little bit of summary. If you don't know who Johnny is, he, back in the early 90s, there was this show called Power Rangers. And Johnny played as a black uh, the Black Ranger in Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, specifically season two. And after Power Rangers, he became a famous voice actor and played a lot of cool characters, like for example, Ichigo from Bleach, Giyu from Demon Slayer, Lelouch from Code Geass, and so on and so forth. And how I met Johnny, my mom and I went to this convention center in Dallas. It was a pretty big convention center, and I've went to a convention before back in my hometown, but it was a small little convention, but this one, was my very first big convention event that I went to. And going inside, and there was just a lot of people there. My mom thought it was super weird seeing a lot of people dress up as cartoon characters and anime characters, but I didn't find it weird at all. The only thing I find a bit weird is that some of them dressed up in like long sleeves, spandex, leather. Like, how are they not sweating in those and those cosplay outfits. Like, damn, it was like 80 or 90 degrees out in Dallas, and shoot, they must be sweating their asses off. But it was really cool to see all the, some of those people dress up, but my mom and dad didn't dress up. We just wore a bunch of cool t-shirts, went on through our day. We went in, had to wait in line, and the line formation to meet Johnny or any other celebrity because it wasn't just Johnny that was there. It was a bunch of other celebrities that were there for voice acting and a bunch of other cool stuff. The formation was a zigzag formation and it threw me off, but I guess it was the reasonable thing to do because if a lot of people are going to meet this one person, they're going to have to change the line a bit. You can't just be a straight line. Otherwise, it would block people's way because some people aren't, aren't here to wait in line. Some people just want to, you know, walk around and look at things and not just meet celebrities. So the reasonable thing to do was a zigzag formation. It threw me off a bit, but I was able to get used to it. And we waited for quite a long time. Two hours is a long time, but let me tell you. It was worth it. And by the time I got to meet Johnny, he was a nice guy. He was really sweet. He's just like his um, um, Power Ranger character, Adam. You know, a bit shy and strong, a really good fighter, but as friendly as all get out. And Johnny, he can actually do martial arts. If you can look him up on the internet, he can break bricks. And that is badass. I don't know what's more badass enough than breaking bricks. Look that up. I'm not joking. Johnny Young Bosch breaks bricks. Look it up. It's really good and it threw me it threw me off. It shocked me the most. Um it was amazing. I was able to get a selfie with them and not just a selfie. I drew this just so Johnny could sign it. And the best part about Johnny signing this, he's he, he put it's bonkai time. And the coolest part about his signatures one of my favorite little details is that normally some celebrities, when they sign autographs for people, for fans, they would usually put their name underneath a quote. But for Johnny's case, it's a bit different. He puts the characters' names in there too. And speaking of characters, I even got um, engaged in a little conversation about how he, um, when he voice acts, he does like these very, he's very talented when it comes to having, making a character have an emotional moment. Because when a character, an anime character has an emotional moment, they feel vulnerable. They feel defeated. And that was amazing. I told him, celebrity or not, 
at the end of the day, you're just a regular person like us. And he didn't deny it. He thought it was, he thought I was right. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Everybody's a, everybody's a person at the end of the day, regardless of how famous you are. And when it comes to voicing a fame of uh, like uh, emotional moments, the, the voice actor has to engage into the character and how they're feeling. I get that. In that moment, you, you are your character. You got to be in that moment. But when you're in that moment, you don't think about yourself. Like, your character is crying. But are you crying? Because... That's what made me feel bad about watching these anime characters break down because I realized that the actor could be crying too. Like, I get it, it's acting, but it makes me feel bad for them. Like, are they okay? Like, some, like at the end of the day, we're human. We've gone through a lot of shit. And I'm sure this guy's gone through a lot of shit too. And I felt so bad for him when I was in gate when I was watching Bleach spoiler alert in the full bring arc where Ichigo realized he couldn't get his soul reaper powers back he kneeled down on the ground screaming crying it was raining it was all dramatic as hell the villains looked down at him and pitied him and at that moment I felt sad for Johnny because that was that was the best part about his acting but could you be thinking, if it's really acting, could he actually be feeling that emotion too? Like if he's gone through something in his personal life? That really affected me when I watched that moment in Bleach. That was very effective to me. I almost cried watching that moment in Bleach. And that was amazing. Meeting Johnny was great. I'm so happy my mom take, took me there. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to Johnny for being there and being a big sport for dealing with all of those fans, big fans, who, who were able to meet, for, to meet him. He was there all weekend, last weekend in that convention. The way celebrities can just sit there and sign autographs for people and just be there for fans. That is amazing. And whew, I just, I just feel, I feel happy th that I got to know that I was able, that I'm able to look at my, um, my autograph to know that I got my drawing signed and I'm able to look at the selfie I took with him and I can just remember it as the days would go by. I can look at my phone, look at the photos and see my picture with me, myself and Johnny. I, it was amazing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.